Following the last major release of Windows 10 in October, bits and pieces of what would become the next version of Windows 10 have gradually been surfacing online. Though I covered many of these features in my Windows Insider build videos, I was careful to note that they weren't quite ready for general use. Now, with the next big update just around the corner, all of these things and more will become available to everyone. Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today we're going to be taking a look at what's new in Windows 10 version 1903, the May 2019 update. In this video, we're going to be looking at the changes to the UI, apps and experiences, input and accessibility, and new options in the Windows settings. After setting up a PC running the May 2019 update for the first time, you'll be greeted into Windows by a new default wallpaper. The brighter, flatter look contrasts more with the light and dark themes in Windows 10. The File Explorer icon also changed for the sake of contrast. The search box, outlined to increase visibility, no longer holds a microphone icon. This is because Cortana is no longer bound to Windows Search. Cortana, now separated from the Windows Search experience, has her own icon in the taskbar. The purpose of this is to develop a more focused search UI. Cortana, on the other hand, seems to be more of a victim of neglect with these changes. Her UI hasn't changed at all. Cortana can be hidden or displayed from the taskbar independently of the search box, and a lot of the conversational abilities are no longer accessible by typing into search. Luckily, you don't have to worry about losing any search functionality previously provided by Cortana, because the Web Preview pane, powered by Bing, is capable of spitting out quick answers to most of your simple questions. Some of Cortana's more functional commands, like setting reminders or toggling settings, can still be accessed from the search if you're very specific about syntax. The separation of search in Cortana goes beyond just the taskbar. In the Windows settings, search now has its own dedicated section on the landing page. In the search settings, you can customize the content of your search results, clear your search history, or configure the Windows Search Indexer. The May 2019 update provides a new enhanced option for the Search Indexer. With Enhanced enabled in the Search Indexer settings, all of the files on your PC will be indexed. This is in contrast to previous releases of Windows where only files in your main libraries would be indexed. Of course, system directories are excluded from this by default, but this list is entirely customizable. There are now three base color theme options in the Windows personalization settings, Dark, Light, and Custom. Custom is selected by default and expands into two daughter settings, Windows Mode and App Mode. Windows Mode changes the appearance of the taskbar, start menu, and other Windows UI elements. App Mode changes the color of the background in supporting apps. Just like the old light theme, Windows Mode is dark and App Mode is light by default. You can switch to an entirely new light theme with the options in the May 2019 update. Everything, including the taskbar, start menu, and action center is affected by the new light theme. Context menus, such as those open from the start menu and action center, now feature a fluent design with acrylic backgrounds, connecting animations, drop shadows, highlight, and reveal effects. You'll notice a lot more fluent design throughout the system UI in apps like settings and the lock screen. These visuals are part of Microsoft's Fluent Design System, which continues to spread throughout Windows despite being unveiled almost two years ago. Requested by Windows users every second since Microsoft unveiled it in 2014, Action Center now has a Brightness Slider. The Brightness Slider provides more granular control over screen brightness, allowing you to decrease brightness without having to toggle through and increase it first. Screen brightness profiles have also been removed in the May 2019 update. You've probably noticed your PC's screen brightness changes when plugging into a charger. This change happens because your PC has two distinct brightness profiles, plugged in and on battery. Your PC switches between these two profiles when you plug in and unplug it from a power source. Now, in the May 2019 update, the brightness setting in Action Center is the only brightness profile. It won't change when you connect and disconnect your charger. Fresh installations of the Windows 10 May 2019 update will come with a new default start menu layout. These changes will not affect you if you're only updating your PC. The new layout is much more organized. If you want to get rid of all the default apps and replace them with your own, you can unpin entire groups just by right-clicking on their headers and selecting Unpin Group from Start. 
Some other notable UI changes are the new icon in the taskbar when your PC doesn't have an internet connection. Files and downloads have been categorized and sorted by date by default. The clipboard UI using Windows key plus V is more compact. There is now a DPI awareness mode in Task Manager in the Details tab which you can enable to explore which apps are or are not DPI aware. There is also now an option in Task Manager to set the default tab when opening it, and the Start Menu now runs out of its own process called Start Menu Experience Host.exe, which supposedly improves the reliability of launching the Start Menu. Many apps and experiences have been updated for the May 2019 update. Not impressed yet? How about this? Many apps and experiences can now be removed with the May 2019 update. You can now uninstall the following list of apps. 3D Viewer, previously called Mixed Reality Viewer, Calculator, Calendar, Groove Music, Mail, Microsoft Solitaire Collection, Movies and TVs, My Office, OneNote, Paint 3D, Print 3D, Skype, Snip and Sketch, Sticky Notes, Tips, Voice Recorder, and Weather. Of course, if you change your mind in the future, these apps can always be downloaded again from the Microsoft Store. Many people complained that Snip and Sketch's debut in the October 2018 update was too soon. While the new app added several useful new features, a couple from its previous iterations were left behind. Now, these options are back in the May 2019 update. Window Snip Mode and More Delay options are now available when taking a new Snip. Additionally, Options for Snip Outlines, an entirely new feature, are found in the app's settings. Your classic old notepad is here to stay, though it's got a few new tricks you might enjoy. Notepad now displays an asterisk in the title bar of an open file when there are unsaved changes. There are new keyboard shortcuts for opening a new notepad window with Control shift n opening the save dialog, Control shift s and closing Notepad, Control w when saving a notepad document, you'll see UTF-8 and UTF-8 with BOM listed in the encoding options. From now on, UTF-8 without a byte order mark, or BOM, is the default encoding for notepad documents. Now available in new dark theme colors, sticky notes match the color theme of your PC. In dark mode, the body of a sticky note appears dark gray with a colored stripe along the top. A new color, Charcoal, gives light theme users the option to have dark notes alongside their more traditional ones. Sticky notes will now sync across your Windows 10 devices. On iOS and Android, you can access your sticky notes in OneNote. Office 365 users may also access their sticky notes via OneNote.com slash sticky notes. The game bar, accessible with Windows key plus G, now has a shortcut to the capture section beneath the capture options. From here, you can view, rename, or delete captures right from within your games. An Open File Location button takes you directly to where that file is saved in File Explorer. For some time now, Universal Windows apps have been available to run in the Windows Mixed Reality environment in the form of windowed holograms. Now, you can open and interact with legacy desktop apps in Windows Mixed Reality just like their UWP counterparts. Running legacy apps in this environment is still experimental, so some apps might not work as expected. Windows Sandbox is a new virtual desktop environment for Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise. Setting up a Sandbox is simple. Unlike creating a virtual machine, Sandbox doesn't require an external installation of Windows, runs a clean Windows image each time it's launched, is wholly disposed of when closed, and is isolated from the rest of your PC. This feature can be enabled in Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise from the Windows Features dialog. You can read more about how Windows Sandbox works at the Windows Kernel Internals page. Other notable changes to apps and experiences include an updated UI for the Universal Printing dialog, the Mail and Calendar apps now have a more full dark mode, expanding into more areas of each app, a new Office app to replace the old My Office app, experimental Windows Console Terminal features, and RAW Image Extension Package is now available from the Microsoft Store, which improves RAW file support in the File Explorer. Interacting with a device in tablet mode isn't as agonizing with the improvements made to the touch keyboard in the May 2019 update. The keyboard has its animations back, fluidly popping in and out of sight when you tap into a text field. 
Enhanced SwiftKey integration also improves the touch keyboard experience in this update. While you're using the keyboard, the key hitboxes are adjusted dynamically behind the scenes to improve accuracy. This SwiftKey intelligence for the touch keyboard is also now available in more languages. Various dialects of English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, and Russian are now supported. For symbols, you can access more of them from the touch keyboard with the Alpha button. If you're a desktop user, these same symbols and more can now be reached using the Emoji panel with the keyboard shortcut Windows Key Plus period. Other notable input changes include a new Indic Phonetic Keyboard, which is available in more languages, a new Japanese Input Method Editor, Adlam and Osage Keyboard Support, and preparations for Emoji 12. Taskbar. A Scan new off. Narrator no Home launches over. every time you turn on Narrator. Narrator Home lets you access all of the Narrator settings. From the Settings menu, additional voices in other languages can be downloaded without having to download entire language packs. This can be done from the Narrator settings by navigating to Add More Voices and Add Voice. A new setting called Hear Advanced Detail, like Help Text on Buttons and Other Controls, lets you adjust what information you hear about the controls. It's disabled by default in this update, however, when enabled, you can adjust its verbosity levels from 0 to 5 using the keyboard shortcut Narrator Key plus V. Verbosity levels will increase or decrease the frequency which this information is given to you. One, two, three. All text detail. Change what you hear in a previous release of Windows 10, a feature that allowed you to hear characters read phonetically in the narrator was added. Microsoft has taken note of the feedback provided by users who use the narrator and have decided to turn this feature off by default. Instead, now, you can activate phonetic reading on demand with the keyboard shortcut narrator key plus double comma by hitting on the comma key twice. Size 10 alpha. Additional narrator options can be found in the Windows settings, under Ease of Access, then Narrator. narrator. Exiting narrator. Also in the Ease of Access settings, new cursor and pointer options can be found. Both the size and color of the pointer can be adjusted. If you'd like to fling a massive green arrow around your screen, you can. It's not an update without dozens of new options in the Windows settings. I've already discussed several settings which are part of other significant changes, but there are many more. In the System section, under Focus Assist, new automatic rules which mute notifications while using an app in full screen mode can be found. Automatic rules are situations where Focus Assist will activate automatically. In the Storage section, a new layout for the storage page breaks down storage usage by type. In the Account section in the Windows settings, a new settings page for sign-in options is found. Passwordless phone number accounts are now available for other accounts you set up on your PC. In the Personalization section in the Windows settings under Fonts, you can now drag and drop fonts onto this page to install them. In the Network and Internet section in the Windows settings under Ethernet, advanced settings and information are now available for Ethernet connections. And finally, the Update and Security section in the Windows Settings has a redesigned settings page for Windows Update. Active hours can be adjusted dynamically based on your usage with a toggle. During these hours, Windows won't update automatically. You can now find a quick shortcut to pause updates for 7 days at the very top of the page. In the Recommended Troubleshooting page, quote, Microsoft automatically fixes certain critical problems on your device to keep it running smoothly. When available, we'll show additional recommendations below that we think will improve your experience. If you run a recommended troubleshooter and the problem comes back, we'll automatically try to fix it again for you. And finally, there is a new page for the Windows Insider program. The May 2019 update, build 18.362, version 19.03, for Windows 10 is now publicly available. Don't stress out too much, though. Your device will let you know when it's ready. Until then, you can just sit back and use your PC like you always have. When you think you're ready to install the update, just head over to the Update and Security section in the Windows settings, check for updates, and you should be ready to go. Windows insiders awaiting this release can also use this as an opportunity to drop out of receiving future builds. Just tick the toggle at the bottom of the Windows Insider page, and you should stop receiving Windows Insider builds after getting this update. 
Find out more about the May 2019 update for Windows on our website on Microsoft.com. If you found this video helpful or would like to keep up to date about the future of Windows 10, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Additional links to more information are available in the description. Thank you, goodbye.